Hey, I'm Del Shanzi from Paraglider Mall, and I'd like to give kudos to James Farewell of Aviator PPG on his new record. Um, James uh, was the, one of their experienced pilots, and he went out and he knocked out 194 flights in one day, which is pretty dang awesome. That's pretty cool. The uh, I've been really trying to encourage people to compete and actually post numbers and actual facts and stats like that because it really helps uh, people be able to compare skill level equally to other skill level when people try and compete honestly. So kudos to James Farewell of Aviator PPG. 194 flights in one day for one of their experienced pilots. So that allows you to kind of compare it more equals to equals to, you know, super training um, type of environment. So our student, brand new student, Super Tom, on his very first flight ever in his lifetime, knocked out 271 flights in one single day without his glider touching the ground. So he didn't ever lose control. And so our brand new super student knocked out 271 flights in one single day. So you really get to be able to compare very equals for equals with no BS, no bashing, just straight up, you know, head to head friendly competition. So James Farewell of Aviator PPG, their experienced pilot with years of experience, 194 flights in one day, and super training, brand new student, first try ever, first flight, first time he was ever on a paramotor, 271 flights in a single day. And so it's great. I really appreciate it because it gives a starting place. Um, it's really good to see other instructors compete with our brand new students because as a new person to the sport, you don't really have anything to gauge that skill off of until people compete. And I've been trying to encourage uh, other schools and instructors to enter the WPBGA World Championships and show what they can do so that they can honestly say, here's what I can do, this is my skill level, here's the number. Uh, the WPGA World Championships is incredible format because it allows anyone, anywhere in the world to compete head to head, equals against equals. It's a very simplistic task, incredibly difficult, but simplistic. All you have to do is fly around in a circle while doing a foot drag. Uh, that means you have to fly downwind, crosswind, into the wind, back around through your wake, all in a circle while maintaining altitude, give or take, about one inch. Um, incredibly difficult. And to gauge the difference, whoever does the most circles in a row without a failure, obviously wins. But it also allows you to equally compare. So if one guy makes two circles and one guy makes eight, and you know, one makes 16, so like Super Trevor, one of my students, he's number two in the world right now behind me with 16 circles in a row in a foot drag. But it's competition like that that breeds honesty. And that is what is awesome to the sport. So I love to see people competing with realistic, real, actual competitions where the end user and viewer can just compare honestly skill against skill alone. So, uh, you know, a great competition I would really encourage everyone to do um, is the WPGA Paramotor World Championships. Now, there's another reason, and that's because the foot drag is an absolutely incredible skill builder for safety because being able to manage altitude, give or take one inch, is exactly the same skill it takes to prevent collapses. Because if you're flying and maintaining altitude, if you start sinking and dropping lift, you add brakes and that lifts you back up. If you go too high, you hands up and drop back down. Well, in flight, if you got hit with turbulence, if you feel that slightest drop in lift, it's exactly the same thing. As you start to drop, boom, you add brakes. If you feel it go up, hands go up. And so it's that same skill that really promotes safety. Because if you can do circle foot drags, the odds of you taking collapses drop drastically by thousands of folds. It's just a huge, gigantic difference. So kudos to James Farewell of Aviator PPG on his 194 flights. 
Um, that really allows people to compare equals for equals. That's awesome, man. Keep up the good work and uh, you know, keep putting those numbers in. The One of our super students uh, knocked out two circles for the WPPGA World Championships on his eighth day of super training. So he'd never touched a glider before. Super Adam came in all the way from the UK. Kudos Super Adam. Knocked out two circles in a row. Perfect foot drag the, uh, on his eighth day of training. So I would encourage any other instructors out there in the world, by all means, go out, videotape yourself. You can take as many tries as you like. There's no, it's not luck, it's not chance. You take all the tries you like in any conditions you want in any scenario, whoever gets the most circles wins. And so if other instructors wanna try and compete with brand new super students on their eighth day of training, they can go out and try and simulate and show that they can actually do what brand new super students can do. So it's incredible. I really appreciate that it's all about honesty, not about blah, 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 this guy said, that guy said, Competition or honest competition, because most of the ones out there are completely fake, just total BS. Um, like the ones where they have people flying around pylons, we'll just tip for the day. No competent pilot will ever fly around in circles, full speed bar, back through their wake, low to the ground on totally uncertified gliders. So it's not a real competition because no actual pilot would ever really do that. It's just fake because they're trying to pretend like they're competing when no real pilots would ever compete. But the more we can get real honest competitions like how many you know touch and goes you can do in one single day or circle foot drags, WPPA World Championships, the more honesty and integrity it brings to the sport because the person that's interested in getting into this incredible sport can really compare. He got this number, he got that number. No opinion, no trash talking, number versus number, skill against skill, everybody's happy, you know, no reason to be jerks and yelling at each other and calling names. Just simply show what you can do and compare that to someone else. May the best man win. So kudos. Thanks guys.